Hi everyone. This story that I am going to do with you today is about a place called Atri. Atri is a small town in Italy. It is built halfway up a steep hill. Once upon a time, the king of Atri bought a huge bell and hung it in a tower in the marketplace. There was a long rope tied to that bell that reached the ground. If anyone felt that he or she had been wronged, all they needed to do was pull that rope and ring the bell. The judges would hear the bell, gather together, and ensure that the person who had been wronged got justice. This is a simple and interesting story because something really unique happens towards the end of the story. Listen carefully while I read it to you and I guarantee that it will make you smile. It is an easy story to understand and you can improve your comprehension skills, reading, spelling and pronunciation by listening to the story. So let's begin with this one. Try to understand it and see if you can answer the questions that I have for you at the end of this lesson. Here is the story, The Bell of Atri. So I'll begin with the story. Now let us read a story about another old bell, the bell in the town of Atri in Italy. Long, long ago in Italy, there ruled a king named John. King John was well known for his goodness and wisdom, which means he was very good and he was very wise. One day, the king and his ministers came to a small town called Atri. When King John reached the town square, town square is an open space in the middle of a town used for gatherings. So when they came to the middle of the town, to the town square, he announced, King John announced, by my royal order, a great bell shall hang here. Whenever something wrong is done to a person, he or she shall ring the bell and the town judge shall correct whatever wrong has been done. So this is what the king announced. He said that I am passing an order today that we will hang a great bell here. And whenever someone in this town feels that someone has done something wrong to him or to her, he or she can come and ring the bell and the town judge will come and correct the wrong that has been done. And so a great big bell was hung in the town square. The people of Atri rang the bell each time someone did something wrong to them. So the people obeyed what the king had said. And as soon as they thought that someone had wronged them, no matter how small that wrong might have been or how big it might have been, they went to the town square and rang that bell. When somebody stole a farmer's sheep, the farmer rang the bell. When someone ate grandmother's special fruit pie without her permission, she rang the bell because she felt that was wrong. When you need to eat her fruit pie, you need to ask her for her permission. You need to ask if it is okay for you to do so. And if you don't do that, then you are doing something wrong. When a bully teased a child, the child rang the bell. Wouldn't it have been nice if we all had a bell like that? close to where we lived. In each and every case, the town judge came and corrected the person who had done wrong. After a while, whenever people thought of doing something wrong, they would think of the sound of the bell and change their mind. And so it was a very good idea to hang that bell there because after a while, people did not like to hear the sound of the bell. And so they stopped doing wrong. That must have been an ideal town to live in. No one did anything wrong anymore. 
not even a small thing like stealing grandmother's special fruit pie without her permission, you know? So it was a great town, no one did anything wrong. So the bell rang less and less. The bell rusted, you know what happens when something is not being used. So the bell rusted and the rope became ragged. Ragged meaning the rope could not be used anymore. It was in tatters, old and torn. Okay, and the bell would have fallen any minute. The townspeople almost forgot about the bell, but the judge did not. He called one of the town workers and said, Please go out into the woods and get a long vine. We will tie the vine to the bell so that it can be rung once again. So we know that the bell rusted and the rope became ragged because it was not being used any longer. Now, I don't know why exactly the king would have not got another rope to hang there. Maybe just to make the story more interesting. So instead of asking for another rope to hang there, the king said that he wanted a vine. What is a vine? A plant that grapes grow on. It's a creeper, a green, fresh creeper. He wanted that to be hung there, tied to the bell and hung in the town square. At this time in Atri, there lived a soldier. He had been a good soldier and tales of his bravery and adventures were still told. Everyone liked him and considered him to have been very brave. Yet, as you know, people, just like bells, grow rusty when they are not used. Do they? Of course they do. For example, if you stop using some part of your brain, you will have difficulty using it again. So that is why we need to use everything that is at our disposal, starting from our brain, our muscles. What happens if you don't use a muscle, a particular muscle? When you do use it sometime, you will have severe pain because it hasn't been used for so long. So like that, the story says that the soldier forgot how to be good. And in what way did he forget how to be good? He had been a very good soldier, but had now turned rusty. Let's see in what way. The soldier had grown lazy. All day long, he just sat and counted his piles of gold coins. He did no work. All he did was count his gold coins. The soldier had an old faithful horse, a horse that had been with him for years and had been loyal to him. The soldier and his horse had shared many adventures, but now the soldier did not take good care of the horse. The poor horse looked thin and sad. Poor little thing. How, why should I feel this, feed this old horse? The old soldier thought. He said, why do I need to feed this horse? It's old. I hardly ever ride him anymore. So why should I have to feed him all the time? He said, I'm not using him all the time. I used to, so I used to feed him. But now I don't use him all the time. I don't ride him anymore, hardly ever. So why should I feed him all the time? I will just give him a little to eat every day. One afternoon, while looking for something to eat, the sad old horse wandered into the town of Atri. The poor old horse was thin, he was hungry, and he wanted something more to eat. So he walked slowly on and on without really knowing where he was going until he reached the town of Atri. But food was hard to find. He looked all over for something to eat but couldn't find anything. The dogs of the town barked at him. The people of the town had shut their doors and windows to keep the heat out. It was afternoon, it was hot, he couldn't see anyone around. Then the hungry horse spotted the green vine that hung from the bell. He was so lucky he saw the vine. It was juicy, green, fresh. The horse hurried to the bell. Now, horses do not know about such things as the ringing of bells and the correcting of wrongs, but they do know that a juicy green vine can fill an empty stomach. 
So the horse was not actually trying to ring the bell. What was the horse trying to do? He was trying to fill his stomach because he was so hungry. The hungry old horse grabbed the vine like you can see in the picture. He grabbed the vine that was tied to the bell. The vine had been tied to the end of the bell's old ragged rope rather tightly and the horse could not pull it loose. The horse pulled and pulled and the bell rang and rang. So unintentionally, the horse was ringing the bell. He didn't mean to. He actually just wanted to eat the vine, but the vine was kind of stuck to the rope so hard that he had a tough time pulling the vine off the rope. The bell rang so loudly and for so long that all the people of Atri awoke from their summer naps. They were having a short afternoon nap because it was so hot. They came out into the streets wondering why the bell was being rung. It had obviously not been rung for a very long time. Like we heard in the beginning of the story, people did not like the sound of the bell any longer and so they had stopped doing wrong. So now suddenly to wake up from their afternoon naps and hear this loud ringing of the bell must have really shocked them. They didn't know what was going on. They came out to see and what did they see? They found the poor hungry horse munching on the vine. He was eating away hungrily. The judge knew that the horse belonged to the soldier and he called him. In a small place, everyone knows everything, right? So the soldier was summoned. The soldier came to the town square. Shame on you for not looking after your faithful horse, said the judge. I order you to take care of him. Give him plenty of oats, a warm stable, and a green field to graze in. So what actually happened here? The horse had no intentions of ringing the bell to show that he had been wronged. What he was actually doing was trying to eat that juicy vine. But the judge and the people of the town of Atri considered it in a different way. They said, the horse is ringing the bell because he has been wronged. And so the judge spoke to the soldier and said, you have wronged this horse. You have been mean to him. And now I am going to ask you to correct that wrong. From now on, you're going to take good care of your horse, even though he's old, and you are going to give him plenty of oats, a warm stable, a nice home to live in, a warm one, and a green field to graze in so that he can eat all day if he needs to. These are the three things that the judge ordered the soldier to give the horse. Plenty of oats, a warm stable, and a green field to graze in. From that day on, the soldier took good care of his old horse and the people of the town never forgot the good that the bell could bring. The story is adapted from an Italian folk tale. And I hope it has made you smile like I said it would. And you found it easy, simple, interesting as well. So let's see if you can answer some of my questions. Test your comprehension skills. The first one, where was the bell hung? The answer is, the bell was hung in the town square. Your second question, why did people stop doing wrong? Let's see if you got that right. People stopped doing wrong because each time they thought of doing something wrong, they remembered the sound of the bell. The third one, what did the soldier do all day long? That's an easy one, isn't it? The answer is, the soldier sat and counted his gold coins all day long. Your fourth question. Why did the soldier neglect his horse? Let's see if you got it right. The answer is, the soldier neglected his horse because he thought that there was no need to feed it all the time when he hardly rode it any longer. Your fifth question. Why did the horse ring the bell? The answer, the horse was hungry, so it pulled at the juicy green vine that hung from the bell. That made the bell ring. 
Remember the difference between vine and wine. If you watch my mouth, vine and wine. So vine is V-I-N-E and wine is W-I-N-E, the wine that you drink. The sixth question for you and the last question, did the horse get justice? Can you explain what actually happened? The people of Atri and the judge came out onto the town square and saw the horse munching on the vine. They realized what had happened. The judge knew that the horse belonged to the soldier. So he called the soldier and ordered him to take better care of the horse in the future. Thus, the horse got justice. With that, I've come to the end of today's lesson. I hope it was a useful one for you and you gained from it. We'll meet again very soon. Until then, do take care of yourselves. Cheers.